hey guys i'm back if you want any information about the material i use dm me details are below and on the screen if you like this video like share and subscribe stay tuned hello guys today we are going to discuss about this gonad development that occurs in indifferent stage between four to seven weeks where there are no specific ovarian or testicular characters Indifference gonad develop in longitudinal elevation or ridge of intermediate mesoderm called urogenital ridge and this urogenital ridge consists of three that is uh, primordial germ cells which are very high yield which is uh, important on gonad development which migrates in week 4 arise which arises from the wall of the yolk sac and next uh, primary cord sex cords that is finger like extensions of the surface epithelium which grow on the gonads that are uh, populated by migrating primordial germ cells actually uh, this sex cords are uh, surface like epithelium which are present in this way small rings and on this there are uh, primordial germ cells and next one is uh, mesonephric or uh, paranephric Ducts that is mesonephric is Wolfian duct which is male and uh, paramesonephric is uh, Mullerian duct which is female. And next is uh, testis and ovary that is testis or male reproductive systems. This has four characteristics that is uh, SRY gene, SORI gene on the short arm of uh, Y chromosomes and it has. TDF that is testis determining factor and uh, Mullerian inhibiting factor MIF which are produced by the serotonin cells and uh, DHT dehydrotestosterone external genitalia and testosterone which is produced by lytic cells most of the people uh, like me they confuse uh, testosterone by lytic cells or uh, serotonin cells uh, we can do this by short mnemonic called uh, latte late anything remember this or in your own way and next one is uh, ovary and or female reproductive system it has the presence of uh, w and t4 gene and this develops in the absence of the sorry gene that is sry gene and here is the next one in different gonad this is uh, testis and male reproductive system and ovary female reproductive system testis has three factors that is a uh, testis determining factor Mullerian inhibiting factor and also testosterone as a site which are produced from the lytic cells and ovary has uh, no factors and next we can come into the meiosis actually I'll explain that so basically what happens in meiosis is first thing this occurs in both testis and ovary and uh, this is a specialized process of cells that produce a male gamete uh, spermatogenesis female gamete oogenesis and there are uh, some differences between the spermatogenesis and uh, oogenesis from males and females and this meiosis uh, has two types meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and first if we come under meiosis 1 this has a synop synapsis that is pairing of 46 homologous chromosomes and next one is crossing over this is very important that because uh, it has the exchange of uh, segments of DNA and disjunction so disjunction disjunction is separation of the 46 homologous chromosome pairs into two daughter cells each containing 23 chromosomal pairs so in this disjunctions there is no centromere splitting and uh, next one is meiosis 2 in this meiosis 2 uh, synapses and crossover does not occur only this disjunction takes place and next uh, coming to spermatogenesis at week 4 this primordial cells arrive and remain dormant until puberty and uh, this spermatogonia has two types actually type a and type b and uh, at type uh, at puberty what happens is this uh, differentiates this type a differentiates and uh, it serves as stem cells this type a does not undergo into some meiosis or anything the differentiation uh, results in uh, type b and type b this has uh, meiosis 1 
uh, in meiosis one primary spermatocytes uh, differentiates into the secondary two secondary spermatocytes and this meiosis 2 the it forms two spermatids which are 23 chromosomes and uh, one haploid pair and next one is spermatids uh, develop into the spermatozoa with the process of the spermiogenesis that is there occurs some morphological, morphological changes for spermatids to form into the spermatozoa and actually uh, this is we can see something here like PTB which is a blood testis barrier between uh, serotoli cells actually this protects the gametogenesis as there are uh, these primary spermatocytes are or uh, they are new cells so there is a chance of the autoimmune damage so this uh, BTB blood test is barrier between sertoli cells produces sorry protects this and next one is uh, at birth what happens is in testis only primordial germ cells are present and this M phase takes place in 22 days and uh, this actually BTB blood test is barrier uh, protects this from primary spermatocytes to spermatids and so on but not from the type B because type B is uh, outside the Sertoli cell so that is not protected and uh, as we said uh, spermatogonia meiosis 1 forms uh, spermatocytes DNA replication occurs and uh, synapsis occurs crossover which is very very important and uh, cell division alignment is junctions where the centromeres do not split and this forms the secondary spermatocyte I am talking about uh, spermatogenesis actually not oocyte that is why I am using this term called spermatocyte only and uh, next one is uh, meiosis 2 in this meiosis 2 what happens is uh, it undergoes some divisions and form into the four spermas uh, that is uh, each secondary spermatocytes forms into two spermatids and that's it uh, which is finally form into 23 chromosomes and uh, one haploid and next is oogenesis in oogenesis at week 4 primordial germ cells arrive and these differentiate into the oogonia actually from these arrive and differentiate into the oogonia and oogonia undergoes the process of the meiosis 1 which forms the primary oocyte these are formed by 5 months of the fetal life uh, and what happens is this stops at prophase that is uh, it in meiosis 1 prophase and this prophase has uh, 5 stages as we know in that prophase it stops in diplotene and uh, it remains dormant until the puberty and when the girl reaches the puberty each month it produces uh, primary oocyte primary oocyte undergoes meiosis 2 uh, to form the secondary oocytes which is again second time arrested in the metaphase of uh, meiosis 2 and gets ovulated and uh, if the fertilization occurs the secondary oocytes completes the meiosis 2 and forms mature oocyte and a polar body and what happens is uh, uh, in previously in spermatogenesis what we thought is at birth and testis there are only primordial germ cells but in here uh, there are uh, primary oocytes because this uh, undergoes differentiation to form the oogonia as we said and uh, this M1 phase con uh, takes place for 50 years that is menopause as we know that's it thank you